And at this time, we will uh, kick this thing off by introducing Tony, the admin of 14 Daily Plus. Tony, why don't you come up and get this thing started? I've got uh, some members' uh, questions here for you. That I've uh, I've got actually three of them. So if I could start out, I would love to do that after you introduce yourself. Hey. <clears throat> I was just laughing because somebody said I was hiding down at the bottom. I don't even know how my name got down here, but it's down there. It's okay. I'm here. First of all, I'd like to tell you guys thanks. Thanks for attending the call. I am going to give you some information. Basically, the information that I passed out yesterday. Um, there's a few new things involved in it. Uh, I'm excited, but I'm always excited because I know things you don't know. I know where the future lies, but I do try to tell you. So, for those of you who this is your first time on the call, and I don't know who's members and who aren't. Oh, okay, they do have embers beside them. Um, this is what you have to deal with. So you make a choice whether to keep your people on the call or not before I get started. Uh, I'm basically frank and honest. I tell you how it is, tell you what we're doing. Some people like it, some people don't, but that's just how it is. I may give you too much information or more than you need to know, but I want you to know. That's all. And, and that's just who I am because I don't want to come back a week from now and you say Tony said Everybody knows what Tony says because I tell you, there's no hidden agenda, anything else. Uh, I think this is the greatest opportunity. You guys don't even know where we're headed. Well, some of you know where we're headed and, and what it's going to be about. Um, there are some copycats out there already. Uh, uh, they see what 14 Daily is doing, has done, and, and they're about. And that, again, is why we're making some of the changes that we are making. So you'll hear that. But before I get into that, let's let James ask his question, and then we'll get started. What? Wait, I'm sorry. Another thing. Wait, James, before you start. I, I should do this. First of all, I want to thank Vernon and Louise for putting that call together last night. And as they told me, there were over 500 people there. There's only 100 people here. And why, I don't know, but let's see if we can get that situation fixed. The other thing is some of you asked me throughout these calls to call you. And I do call you, but if your phone blocks privacy, then I can't get through to you, and I do not let my number out. So don't think I'm not calling you because I have called several of you, but if your phone let me, won't let me through, then there's nothing else I can do, okay? When you first get started, you can pay out very quickly. You can pay out two, three days. Everybody's paying in their cash. Or after that 10th, 11th day, it's real easy. Okay, for people to pay out. As your company grows and grows, as we've been growing, and people keep submitting checks, what we call e-checks, credit cards, that takes away from the funds from the company itself to continue making the, those quick payouts. Now, why does it do that? The company we're using to do it with, SafePay, and I will tell you guys this now because it's going to change. When you pay into 14 daily, Sometimes it takes 10 or 11 days for us to actually get that money. What does that mean? We pay you 14% of your money before we even have your money. Now, should we do that? Probably not. I don't even know, but we did it uh, before you, for the company, for the business, to get it going. It's a young business. Uh, we made some sound business decisions here, uh, and investments here, and opportunities that we think can carry us through. So we really didn't mind doing that. We can front the money even though they can't. Okay? We can take it out of our end, which really wasn't a problem until we start paying you cash, and we're paying people $15,000, $18,000, $10,000, $12,000, dollars $6,000, $2,000, $3,000 cash, and they are upgrading with e-checks or credit cards. So again, it's another 10 or 11 days before we see that money. So they're taking money out of our system, upgrading with e-checks, which is bottlenecking us and slowing everything down. So our option was to just do away with e-checks, do away with credit cards, and just make this an all-cash business. Would that work for 14 daily? Absolutely. Uh, could we take off and... and, and do what some other companies have done? Absolutely. But as some of you know, been on uh, previous calls, 
I have to look and say, it works for me, but does it work for you? Does it help you build your business? Uh, is it the easiest way for someone to get started in the opportunity to have to uh, wire money or send money through an exchange company to e-bullion or have to uh, go down and put a deposit in and, and, and wait 48 hours, 72 hours? I know it affects your business as well as everyone else's. So SafePay has agreed and they have already at this point done two things for us so that our fast our fast payouts I'm sorry can go faster. And this is what you see. They've agreed to let people fund safe pay with e gold and e bullion so we can put all of our money in one pool instead of us moving it back and forth as people pay. Which made life a little bit easier for us. So you guys can fund it. You don't have to pay an exchanger, anything. They've made that free for us right now. Doesn't cost you a dime to move your money over there. If you need to get some money out, move it over there, do an upgrade, get your money out, make some money at the same time. So that's the opportunity that we brought to you. They have agreed, now and this is big, they went out and switched banks so that they can process our checks faster. They called me today and they would, uh, within a day or two, of making it immediate. When you put the check in there, it comes out your bank account immediately. That's going to just simply explode our business. You understand? We're not waiting that 10 or 11 days. Everybody's getting paid. We know which checks are good and which are bad. Because that has become a problem as we have grown. I'm getting $140,000, $180,000 a day in return checks. Now, they're not returned because people don't have the money, and I say some of them are, but it's simply because people don't know their account number, they don't know their routing number, or they use duplicate check numbers. And those are the things that you guys been in the business have to look and work with your new people on and help them out because it affects all of us as we get those done. But I didn't want to do away with checks because that's a great opportunity for people to get in each checks and get started so we have that. Now, this is another thing that you're going to notice that that's going to help us, the upgrading, where we pay people out in cash and they pay back with an e-check or a credit card. SafePay has changed that effective yesterday. Some of you already know. From now on, you will upgrade from your SafePay balance. So whenever you go in to get an upgrade, that's where it's going to come from. We pay you cash. You want to upgrade, you upgrade back in cash. What does that do? Again, it helps speed our business along so we're not waiting that extra 10, 11 days. That's how you're going to see um, all our payouts get back in line, us get back to our seven day, six day, five day payouts. And this should be happening within a week, guys. We'll go through this whole turnover within a week. And people will just be paying in cash and we'll start to explode once again, okay? So those are some of the changes in the system that I wanted to tell you about that's going to make it better. Anyway, um, the thing with SafePay, with Ego, e bullying should be done, as they told me, within the next 48 hours. They actually um, made a little mistake. They went out and they uh, did e first. And I let them know that we stopped doing e you know, two months ago. So they are working diligently to get e bullying set up for us by tomorrow for the next day. Uh, let me say this too, what uh, Sophie was talking about, about the 3 by 3 That's the conferences at 10 o'clock, the conferences every day this week or during the week here. I mean, when I'm not here, that's what those calls are for. They're for you to bring your people, listen to Soul Fan, listen to BC Marshall, get on, on the phone with uh, Louise and Vern. They're telling you the best way to structure your business the best way to build your business so you can maximize this opportunity. I'm just here when when I get invited. That's all. I get invited. I want to talk to you, tell you what's going on, uh, let you see the, the bigger picture from the company, uh, where you can go. But they are your day-to-day -day people. They're, those are the guys who are in the trenches with you, willing to share their knowledge and, and help you build your business. So I take advantage of it if I was you. 
Okay, guys, uh, a couple more questions, and we need to wrap this thing up. George Wilson, you got the next question. Come on up to the microphone or type your question in, please. Okay, there is another surf site that locks your profile for you to help with hacking. Can your programmers do something like that for us? Thank you. And, Tony, that's something that I was thinking about also because I had heard that from a few people, is if there's no way that they can lock our profile for us where it has to send you a pen or something like that, is there a way that the social security numbers in the profile can be X'd out in some fashion? And if we think for some reason that it's wrong, we can go into that box and type it all in and do an update that way, but so that it's not showing up there? Uh, that's something that some people have had some concerns over. I'll let you touch on that. And then we'll take one more question, and we will get you back off of here and back to work. You know, I really don't know. Well, we lock in the, the username. I suppose we could lock in anything. But let me talk to my programmer and let's see. Now, the problem with that, guys, is what I'm seeing right now, especially with our new people coming in, they put in the wrong safe pay username. We can't pay them. And that's a big problem when they go to upgrade. Our system doesn't read it because it's the wrong name. Then we'd have to put in tickets. We have to manually go in and change each one of those. Anytime any of those things change, your email address, your address, phone number, you have to submit a ticket to go in and do that. Because if we give you an access code, it's no different than your password and login. And if hackers can hack that, they'll hack your access code too. So the only way to really secure it would be for us to go in and do that. But we'll look at try and make some key things just like that. Your membership, I mean your e-bullion account number, your safe pay, username, whatever it is. Once you put it in there to be locked in and you have to request it to be changed, I think that's the best security you can get. But let me talk to my programmer about that and see can we get it done. Okay, Dell Church, you've got the next question. Please come up to the microphone or type your question in, please. I surfed on the 2nd of June, and it showed that I did not surf. I sent a ticket that day and many, many times after, but I did not get credit for June 2nd. 731DC is username. Thanks. Okay, would you like me to fix that right now? No. That's not what we're here for, but let me tell you. I will... As a matter of fact, I'm trying to look at it, and, um, okay. I was looking for the usernames. So it was the wrong one. Okay. I thought that he had the uh, audio, but I didn't see it pop up there. So with that, guys, uh, we really need to quit taking up uh, Tony's time. We've gone way over the time. But, uh, Tony, I do appreciate your time here. I appreciate everyone taking the time out of their evenings to uh, come on the conference call here tonight. And uh, appreciate all you guys being here. Tony, always appreciate your time. It's always a pleasure to have you here in the conference room. And with that, uh, I'll let you close out, and we will see you next time, and we will see uh, all of you next time on the conferences. Tony? Okay, let me tell you guys, uh, I, I don't know exactly the time frame on the net toy, but I mean, we know if you were there by Friday, you're in the right place at the right time, you will receive it. So other than that, thank you guys for being on the call. As always, I appreciate it. It's your business. It's my business. We're in business together. We're also a family. I'm going to do what I can to make you successful, and I want you guys to do the same thing. Okay? Uh, if I can help you, I absolutely will. James, everybody, thanks for inviting me to your call. I'll come when you invite. I'm here. You guys can always, always count on me to be Tuesday with Louise in Vern, Wednesday here, as long as they invite me. When they stop inviting me, I won't come. All right, have a good evening. Thank you.